Here are four keys to help you save for your future home. Step one, be sure to cut back payments wherever you can. That would be anything from your cable bill to maybe dropping the heat or air conditioning a, a couple of degrees here or there to, to cut back on the bills, um, going out to eat for lunch or uh, car insurance, might be able to shop around, get some better rates. A lot of different steps you can take and be surprised just a few little cuts here and there might really add up in the long run uh, over the course of a couple years. Secondly, you can begin to eat at home more often with, uh, with your family and, and maybe go out to eat only once or twice a month. Uh, it's staggering how much we can end up paying for a restaurant these days, easily 40 or $50. And when you have kids in the mix, it can quickly uh, go up to 70 or 80 uh, very quickly. So you're looking at um, at least a half, half week of groceries right there just by eating at home. Number three, avoid large purchases whenever you can. Uh, no going out to buy new cars or fancy clothes or a uh, brand new computer, laptop, television, things that you don't really need right now. Some emergencies will come up and ensure that's okay, but try to avoid those large purchases that can wait until uh, a future time. Delayed gratification on this. And finally, create a separate savings account, specifically just for the, the down payment and any money you might be saving for future repairs on the home or just to have an emergency fund so that you don't you don't touch that money put it in a liquid account that you can withdraw from when you're ready or if an emergency does come up but for the most part that's money that you do not want to be touching and uh set discipline really discipline yourself uh set a budget wherever you need to and make this happen and you'll be able to have enough money to put down on a new home in no time thank you